Hey guys, Ali from Geek Alchemy here today doing the follow up on our hopeful last iteration of liquid soap. And if you didn't see the last video, uh, I'll try and link it up here somewhere and allow you to see that. This is a castor oil, sunflower oil, both organic uh, base with salt and glycerin and sugar. Because the last time I made this without the sugar, uh, it didn't bubble as nicely as I would have liked in the first couple weeks. And I only plan on sequestering my liquid soap uh, two weeks at a time before I go ahead and uh, lay, line them up for the shelves. As you can see here, compared to the last time, everything went through gel, or compared to the last video. And of course it started reaching trace right as we were getting off, like the last five, 10 minutes after getting off the video because I didn't have the storage for any more. Actually, I'm gonna make that even less. You don't need that much. Uh, right now I'm doing the phenolphthalein test. And phenolphthalein is a chemical, not skin safe, so you don't test it directly in your batch. You always take a little piece to the side and then you toss it. This tests for alkalinity. If it's a very high alkaline, it'll be anywhere from a light pink to like, um, what's the word, hot, a hot pink, like, uh, like a neon pink. Anyway, we're just gonna do a little test here. Now, if it's, I think, lower than 10 or 11, it ends up clear, and I'll bring that up to you so you can see. You can tell there is no pink whatsoever in this, so we know for a fact this is completely saponified and ready to sequester on the shelf for a couple weeks before use. But I know a lot of people don't like phenolphthalein and they prefer the clarity test. So let me go ahead and grab off a little piece for you. And oh, of course I don't have my distilled water. Give me one moment, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I probably should be diluting more, a higher water content, but I'm not worried about that right now. I just want to start getting it incorporated into the water a bit. Because it won't take long. If it's going to be cloudy, it'll pop up pretty quick. Alright, let me get my alcohol to disperse the bubbles. This is probably enough. glob of soap there's still about half but as you can see you can see straight through this and if there was any hint of cloudiness it would have came up right away I've had a batch before that came out cloudy and needed more time to sit wasn't quite ready and yeah, this is literally, oh shoot, you can't see. All right, I'm gonna manhandle you for a second, so I apologize. As you can see, that is crystal clear. 
So again, not fully dissolved. I don't expect it to be water clear when everything is said and done, but that is, that is very nice, which means it should take color a lot better than my previous pastes. Hey, while I have you here, if you could react down in the comments, I'd appreciate it. I'm thinking of making a refill of liquid soap, but not necessarily of like a, a huge container. I mean, I am thinking about that, but I'm curious. Would you guys be willing, if I included instructions, to send a small container with a couple ounces of soap paste and again giving you guys instructions on how to dilute it and preserve it and everything would you be willing to buy that as a refill instead and do the diluting yourself at home i know some people grate down bar soap and that's how they make their liquid soap which by the way that's gross i've done it it's like liquid snot it's it's anyway i won't go into it anymore but would you be willing to do the work yourself with a much smaller container with um again it would be it would be a couple ounces so a good like four or five spoonfuls of these more or less probably more i would weigh it out put it in a small like little condiment cup container and uh, like i said send home instructions let me know if you like that option because I am more than willing to do that for y'all and I think it'd be you know less waste in general versus a huge a huge bag like a flask like a plastic flask is kind of what I'm looking at online what a lot of other soapers recommend for their liquid soap refills and I just think weight wise for sure and packaging wise you know a little container like this versus you know like a 32 ounce flask filled up with liquid soap i don't know you guys let me know in the comments and i look forward to reading them so all right well in a couple weeks because this is a couple days after uh i will dilute this and we'll test the bubbles I hope you guys have a geeky day. I'll see you later. Bye.